Hi guys, so today's video was inspired by this stack of gift cards I've had laying around my room for I don't even know how long. It's honestly ridiculous how many of these I've managed to collect, so I thought it was time I finally put them to use, and I did. I spent all of these within 24 hours. But before we hop into all that, I want to give you guys a quick update on a video I did a couple weeks ago where I wrote fan letters to 100 celebrities, and yeah, cue the update. So in my video a couple weeks ago, I said that nobody responded to my letters. I waited a month, but I guess I just needed to be a little more patient because since then I actually got four responses and I thought it was kind of funny. So I just wanted to update you guys and show you guys what I got in the mail. So I got a signed photo of a Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I also got one of Jojo Siwa and of course on the back she has this long thing promoting herself. I would expect nothing less. And then we also got one from Billie Eilish. This is actually the first one I got. So I was very surprised to see this. She signed it on the back, which is cool. And then we got one from Michael Jordan as well. That's all I have to say. So back to the main video. Now that update time is over, let's hop right into the video. So the first place I decided to go was Starbucks because every good day starts with Starbucks. I had three gift cards for Starbucks with a total of $50 on them. Someone come get free Starbucks. So I was able to order food for myself and some of my friends as well as for the car behind us. Um, okay, so I'll pay with all the gift cards on there. Awesome, okay. <laughs> um, and then we'll also pay for the car behind us. Once we got our food and drinks, it was time to roll out and head to the mall. Our first stop was Sephora. I had three gift cards with a combined total of $75 to spend at Sephora, and I knew I wanted to get a new blush, so after looking around at what all the brands had to offer, I ended up narrowing down to Tarte, and I found a blush from there I really liked. I think this is a really pretty color. It's literally the exact same color as my nails, and I'm wearing it right now. The next thing I got was this Benefit Professional Primer. I've heard really great things about it, so I thought it was time I finally picked it up. So that is everything I could get with my gift cards, but as I was checking out, I noticed some really nice stuff in the Beauty Insider like goodie section, so I decided to redeem some of my points and get this. It's basically just like a Too Faced set. It has setting powder, lipstick, mascara, and a primer, and I just, I thought it was a really good little set that I wanted to try out. Next up was American Eagle. I had a $30 gift card for there that I've been sitting on for like four years or something like that. So I thought it was time I finally got myself something nice. After looking around at all the clothes for a bit, I found something I really liked. It's this neutral corduroy shirt that is button up and I just thought it'd be really good for layering. It's also really cute and it will go with literally everything. It was also on sale, which is great because if it wasn't, I wouldn't have been able to afford it. <sighs> Next up was a store called Boathouse. Now, I knew this card had to be old, but I had no idea how old this card actually was. Before I even looked around though, I went up to the cash to ask the girl how much was on it, just so I knew like how much I could spend and stuff. And she looked at the card like she had never seen anything like it before in her life. She ended up having to call like head office or like, I don't know, some higher up people who told her the card was from 2010. I had this card for a literal decade. I don't know what's wrong with me, but it had a solid $25 on it. So it was time to look around, see what the store had to offer and what I had been missing out on for 10 years. I ended up buying this really cute pair of sunglasses. Could definitely get a cute Insta pic in these. I'm not mad at it. After all that shopping, I was starting to work up an appetite, you know, so I headed to Booster Juice, whipped out my gift card, and got myself a smoothie. Hi, could I get a regular strawberry sunshine? And then... I think my candles might have just broke. Spoiler alert, got those from Bath & Body Works. False alarm. And then this happened. Am I working in the mall? Yeah. Uh, no. no. Oh, I thought that was. Yeah, no. That's for something else, but. Oh my gosh, when I went up to the cast, the girl was like, Do you work at the mall? I was like, No. She was like, Oh, I thought you did because of this thing. And I was like, No, that's for something else. I literally could not have handled that situation worse. Like, I'm so awkward. <laughs> Anyways, after that, we headed to Bath & Body Works to do some candle shopping. Candle shopping is hands down one of my favorite activities, and I had a whole $35 to spend. So after sniffing all the candles until my nose broke, I picked out two that I really liked. We've got Champagne Toast. This one smells so freaking good. It's also like a really nice spring scent, which is what I wanted because I have a lot of like fall and winter candles. So I needed more like spring ones, you know, we're going into spring. And I also got this one. 
which is Georgia Peach. I also really liked the colors of these. They kind of match. I thought it was cute, so very happy with my candles. Then it was time for Kate and I to catch a movie. Got my stack. After sifting through all my gift cards, I found my Cineplex one and purchased two tickets to see the movie Little Women. Ah, uh, yeah. We just got our popcorn and now it is time to see the movie. The movie was really good, but I forgot my glasses at home and without them, I can barely see anything. So this cast full of white girls all just looked like the same person to me. It got really confusing, but you know, we made it through. After the movie, your girl was hungry again. So I grabbed my $30 gift card and headed on over to Thai Express. Could I get two pad thais with no tofu? I've got food. If you didn't know, pad thai is my favorite food, so I thoroughly enjoyed this meal. I would say it was a 10 out of 10 time. Once we had our tummies full, it was time to head over to Michael's because you guessed it, I had a gift card. I had $25 and no idea what to spend it on. I really don't have any use for craft supplies at the moment, so I opted for the home decor section and actually picked out some really cute things. The first thing I got was this cute little plant. It's like a fake succulent and you know, you can just never have enough fake plants, so decided to pick this up and it was in the buy one get one free section, so I picked up this as well and there's receipts in it. Banish you. I just thought this was a cute little wooden tray and I am moving soon into my own apartment. So this will be a nice thing to have, you know, just laying around. I can put some perfumes in it, maybe some books, a candle. I don't know. At this point it was getting late and I was getting tired. So I decided to head home, get some rest and then wake up nice and early the next day to finish our shopping challenge. Since I had spent so much money on myself for day one, I decided my money would be better spent on others for day two. I had eight gift cards for Walmart with a combined total of $150. So I reached out to one of my friends who works at the local homeless shelter and asked her to send me a list of things they needed. She said they could always use hot dogs, chicken, milk, Oh my God, vegans are gonna hate me. I'm getting meat and milk. This is what they asked for. Coffee whitener, coffee, sugar, coffee cream, bread, and ground beef. I think we got everything, hopefully. We headed to self-checkout, used my eight gift cards, and then rolled out. Before dropping everything off at the homeless shelter, we made a quick stop at Tim Hortons because, of course, I had a gift card. All right, so all together, your total's gonna be $19.50. Let's hope my gift card's for $20. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but... yeah, it was not for $20. It was only for $10, but you know, it's fine. So we just got our food from Tim's. I also got a drink for Brittany, which is the girl we're meeting from the homeless shelter, and we are headed there next. We showed up to the shelter, and let me just say, it was the cutest building ever. Everything was so colorful and pretty for them. We dropped off the groceries and the coffee, which they were so thankful for. They gave me a little thank you card, which is so cute. They did not have to do that. Then finally, it was time for me to torture myself. So we are at our last stop of the video and I'm dreading it. It sounds fun because we're at a spa, but for some reason I decided getting a Brazilian wax would be a good idea. And I've never done that before in my life. I've never gotten anything waxed except my eyebrows. So I'm scared, but you know, we're gonna, we're gonna do this together. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. <laughs> also, I feel so exposed to not film my vagina. I'm regretting this. I'm really regretting this. Ow! Oh, that one hurt. I'm not good. I'm not okay. Oh my god, that one hurt so bad. She's like make it. Okay, I might need a second. Oh my god. It feels good when she puts the wax on. And then when she pulls it, she rips it off. it's that like I'm not good. <laughs> <laughs> Just seeing what's going on down there. <laughs> oh, that one, like the pain lasts longer. <sighs> like it's still hurting. Yeah. Okay, I need to relax. <laughs> Deep breaths. <laughs> this is not my favorite activity. <laughs> Looks nice though. <laughs> Ow! Oh my god, my legs are starting to shake. Like I'm <laughs> actually like normal. my body is shaking. Oh, when I relax, it feels way better. No, I knew for the front, but then for the back, I was more like tensed up. I'm like dead inside now. <laughs>
My total including tip came to about $50, which is not bad at all, and my gift card was able to cover it. However, my just did not really love getting the hair ripped out of it. It was very irritated for a few days and is just now starting to go back to normal. I just did not love the overall waxing experience, so I think I'm gonna stick with my razor, you know? Me and her pals, I'll just keep that bond going. And that concludes my video of me spending all my gift cards in 24 hours. I hope you guys enjoyed coming on this journey with me. Subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on Instagram at Brianna Renee because I love interacting with you guys on there. And yeah, I will see you guys next time with a brand new video. Bye.